Hey guys, welcome to another QPython 3 tutorial. Now in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys a good way you can actually use multiple arguments in Python. Now before I commence on that tutorial or teaching you guys those stuff, I want to just show you guys something new that you can actually do with functions. Now when you make functional arguments, like let's say two or three arguments in Python, and you wanted to just edit one of them or just change one of the values before using the function itself you can actually do that by changing the four values inside the function before you use it so let's say we made a name i changed this name to desmond is an okay guy before you guys would kill me with jealousy okay so i just changed it to desmond is an okay guy and i just wanted to use the name and let's change the name to there is this guy who commented on my video I really appreciate your comments and his name is I think Ryke Hackerman. I don't know if I can get the name right but R I Y C Ryke Okay Hackerman I think. I just wanted to say I appreciate your comments and if you are watching this video now you like the way I use this guy's name please do comment and maybe yours might be the next name in the, my next tutorial. So just comment, like this video and share, subscribe also to get this done. Now let's just comment. Let's find. <laughs> I should not use the word comment. Let's just continue with our tutorial. Now let's say we want to change this name to this. We can now see that once we change this name, you notice that only the name in this place gets changed. All the other two will still be the same. Now let's see. It says my name is Reich Hechemen. I am in grade 102 and I am 500 years old. Now notice that all the two, all those two others. Did not change that's because we didn't change them here if we wanted to change them you can also say something like a grade equals to the number and so on and so forth you can do that by yourself i do not have time for that now but that's how it works just change it the values inside and you'll be good to go but you can also change your values by just using the name inside of this so you could just say the name is blah blah and the grade is uh, let's say 34 and this should be like 78 so since these are placed in the same positions as this one it just automatically reads that this is the name this is the grade and that is the age so it still works fine my name is blah blah and I am in grade 34 and I am 78 years old now since we got that out of the way let's head to our main tutorial for the day I just used about two or three minutes for this forgive me guys I just had to show you now Okay, let's say we wanted to make a function and this function is, um, what should the function do? Let's just say the function should multiply numbers for us and let's just call this function something like, uh, let's see, I think multiply should be a good name. But then this function should multiply. Now this, the reason I'm making this name multiply is that I want to show you guys how multiple uh, multiple parameters or arguments are used multiple arguments so let's just comment this out let's use the comments okay this should, this is out so let's make a function called multiple now this function is going to multiply number sorry multiply this function is going to multiply number so what we're going to do is I'm going to give it arguments so arguments now basically when making a function that can take multiple arguments that's more than one argument, as many as you want. You simply use this asterisk sign in front of the argument inside of this. So once you've made that, you've used the asterisk sign with this, you have to use whatever you want. So you have to write whatever code you want to write inside of this place as usual. So this function should multiply numbers for us. And since functions or multiplication in general, everything you multiply to one gives you itself we should not have a problem using one so let's just say um, let's say answer is equal to one so since answer is equal to one let's say something like a okay let's use this for uh, let's say norm in uh, args so we're going to reference this argument here so we're going to say this num which i'm going to write underneath this later on in this argument so what this is going to do is that it's going to take each number from inside this argument and it's going to know what should we do to it okay since we're talking about multiplication let's just say answer is multiplication 
times so once you times this is going to be equal to this so the next value is going to be answer it's going to be the multiplication of the sign we add inside this value so what we're going to do is that we're going to say answer is equal to the multiplication sign of the number and then we're going to print in or print out the answer rather so let's go print and let's go answer now this is just a small function meant to just help you guys understand how functions are used but along the line while it multiplies the number merely multiplies the first one it's going to print out the answer for us so since we can it can take as many arguments as we want we can give it five arguments so let's give it let's just give it two or three so two four i think two two should do two four and let's say five and three so two times four should give us um eight times five this should give us 40 40 times 3 should give us 120. Now it's going to print out each value as it goes in the way, so I think this should work fine. So let's save this our code and let's run it. And since we gave it 2, 4, 5, and 3, let's see the output. It's going to multiply the numbers for us. Okay, it says 2, 8, 40, and 120. Now this simple function can take as many arguments as we want. So if we wanted to be the function that could sum up numbers for us, we could just change this to a plus sign. And since we do with addition, let's change this to maybe zero. And let's change this function name to something like, uh, let's say, sum. So since this is sum, this should sum our numbers for us. And the summation of numbers should give us, um, let's say, 2, 6, 11, and then 14. So 14 should be the last number should print out for us. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, okay, yeah, 14. So basically, guys, that's how to use multiple arguments in Python. So when you want to print out or work with multiple arguments from the user or whatever you want, this is a good way to do it. Thank you for watching this video. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Shout out to Hackerman. See you guys next time.